Hey everybody, it is Kristen from VI Book Crate and today I have Ba Mu, What Will We Do? It is by A.H. Benjamin and Jane Chapman. Ba Mu, What Will We Do? A.H. Benjamin and Jane Chapman. Something special was happening on Buttercup Farm. A farmer had brought a kangaroo back with him from Australia. It was arriving that very day. All the animals gathered in the farmyard to talk about it. They had never seen a kangaroo before. What can a kangaroo do anyway, they asked, but nobody knew. What if she can crow, asked the rooster. What if she gets up very early and crows so loudly she wakes up the whole farm? Perhaps she will even count the hens and chicks to see if any are missing. The farmer won't need me anymore and then I'll have to look for another job. Cockadoodle do. Perhaps I won't even find one. How dreadful, said everyone. What if she can herd sheep, said Dog. What if she rounds them all up and takes them to graze on the highest, greenest hills? She might even chase a fox or two. The farmer will be so pleased with her that he will send me off to live in the kennels. Bow, wow, I would hate that. How terrible, said everyone. What if she can catch mice, said Cat. What if she catches all the mice in the barn and a few rats too? Maybe even the spiders would be scared to live there. Then the farmer would get rid of me and I would become a stray foraging for food in dustbins. Meow, I'd miss my milk and sardines. How awful, said everyone. What if she can give milk, said Cow? What if she fills up all the churns in the farm with such rich, creamy milk that people will rush to buy it? Then nobody would want mine, and the farmer would make me pull the heavy plow instead. Moo! I couldn't stand that. How shocking, said everyone. What if she can grow wool, said Sheep. What if she has a thick woolly fleece, whiter than snow, softer than silk, and maybe her coat will grow fast, twice as fast as mine. The farmer would be so delighted that my wool would only be used to stuff old pillows and cushions. Bah! I wouldn't let them come near me with their shears. How terrible, said everyone. What if she can pull a cart, said Horse. What if she takes a cart full of fruit and vegetables to the market and gets there a lot quicker than I could? She might even give rides to the farmer's children. There would be no place for me here then. I would end up in an old horse's home. Nay, I am too young for that. How frightful, said everyone. The animals were very, very worried. They were so busy worrying that they did not notice that some of the young ones had strayed away. Where are my puppies? asked Dog, looking around. And my kittens? asked Cat. The sheep could not find her tiny lamb either. All the animals searched and searched. Not a kitten, nor a puppy, nor a tiny lamb could they find anywhere. They looked from the barn to the pigsty with no look. This is dreadful, crowed Rooster. Horrible, woofed cat dog. Awful, meowed cat. Shocking, mooed cow. Terrible, booed sh bad sheep. Frightful, neighed horse. Suddenly, across the field, they saw a very strange animal indeed, leaping and bounding towards them. Hello, it said, I'm Kangaroo. The animals stopped searching for their babies. They stared and stared, for the funny-looking animal had a big pouch in her tummy. And in the pouch were three kittens, two puppies, and a tiny lamb. I've found your baby, said Kangaroo. I'm a baby minder. I look after the young, and I carry them when their little feet get tired. They love it. What a good idea, the animals cried. And crowing and barking and meowing and mooing and buying and neighing, they all welcome Kangaroo to her new home. The end. Thank you for watching this fun story with me and stay tuned for more. Have a great day, guys.